And I know Jordan's going to look back at this 10 years from now. He's going to be like, we lived in Miami and, we, and you moved? We can always move back. We can That's always the thing. move back. But right back. now, the, the, the focus is... Yeah. You being able to be closer to family and yeah. us having that support. Um, and exactly. I think that for us, that was one of the biggest things, too. And kudos to families out there that do, you know, make the decision to move far away and they're away from family and they're starting a, they're a, fa- a family of their own or they have small children because we're in it right now. And it's not easy mm-hmm. at all. You know, it's very difficult, especially when you realize what you have to sacrifice for right. that. You know, there's right. no that much me time or you time or us having time to ourselves or Mm -hmm. having date night or, you know, you have to be very intentional about everything. Yeah. And when you have grandma and you have aunts and uncles Mm -hmm. in the picture that can, you know, alleviate some of that burden for you. And, you know, you guys can get back to date nights and things like that. That is going to be great. I mean, great Mm -hmm. for us. Um, And the fact that we were able to make this work and it's just solely just me and you down here, like that's a testament to how strong our relationship is because it is difficult for just two people, Mm -hmm. especially like, let's say if I wasn't in the picture and it was just a single mom down here, it'd be extremely difficult. difficult. But even with just two people, a a two parent household, there's challenges um, with no family. It's still uh, a lot of challenges Mm -hmm. and not to say that it can't work. Right. um, And not to say that we, we couldn't make it work. We just felt like it was a better scenario for us it was the best decision him, yeah for for us to move on back home and him be around more family and have yeah. that support it's just it's a it's a welcome change you know yeah this is like you said we we're, we're taking our victory lap yeah. and we're going on home we had took our talents to south beach we did and now <laughs> we're going back to the dmv just so. like just like lebron did <laughs> just like lebron did <laughs> he, he went, went right back to cleveland <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah with that said we just wanted to share the news with you guys we're excited we hope you guys are excited for us we're really looking forward to this next chapter and all that god has in store for us in this next chapter because the way that we're looking at it is that it can only continue to get better from here amen. of course we're going to have challenges and things like that but it can only continue to get better from here amen and i look forward to seeing how our fa- our family continues to grow yep and how he continues to grow how and- he continues to grow and we embark on this new journey because it's going to look so different from when we were back home and we were in our early 20s I dating know, you know I we know. weren't married we weren't we didn't have a kid we yeah. didn't have a dog we didn't have any of those things and so it's going to be beautiful to see what this new chapter looks like amen well said so with that said, we're going to close it out. My name is Shane. And I'm Jen. And this is The Yam Boys. And guys, remember to always find joy in the journey. Peace. Building a happy home. Yeah. Building a happy marriage. Building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines. It's about those habits. And building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. Exactly.